Big Sand Wash Reservoir is located in northeastern Utah, about 16 miles west of Roosevelt. If you're coming from Provo or Salt Lake area, follow Highway 40 east to Duchesne, then watch for the Bridgeland Junction about 10 miles east of Duchesne. Turn north and go for about 11 and a half miles to the reservoir. If you're coming from the Roosevelt side, follow Highway 40 west from Roosevelt for about 5 miles. Take the State Route 87 junction to Upalco. Travel about 11 miles and watch for signs to the reservoir. Big Sand Wash Reservoir is at, at an elevation of 5,885 feet above sea level. It's a small lake of about 650 acres with a maximum depth of 102 feet. The reservoir is surrounded primarily by private land, but there are two points of public access, the boat ramp at the dam and a sportsman's access on the northeast side which is clearly marked. There are restrooms at both locations. Camping is not readily available near the reservoir, but motels and groceries are available at either Duchesne or Roosevelt. Big Sand Wash is a good year-round fishery. You can check out my other video, Ice Fishing for Perch at Big Sand Wash, for winter fishing opportunities. It's regularly stocked with rainbow trout and has naturally reproducing populations of brown trout, smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, yellow perch, and illegally stocked walleye. Water temperatures may get into the low 70s by late summer. Structure and cover is comprised mainly of rocky outcrops mixed with sand. There's a lengthy riprap dike and dam face. And in spring there's plenty of flooded brush. The forage base is primarily yellow perch and crayfish and everything eats them. Trout and perch also feed heavily on zooplankton and insects such as mayflies and midges. Smallmouth, largemouth, walleye, and browns can be targeted by fishing jigs, plastics, crankbaits, jerkbaits, topwater lures, spinners, and spoons that imitate perch and crayfish. Look for bass in 5 to 15 feet of water throughout much of the open water period. Walleye and browns have a small population right now, but you can look for them from 10 to 40 feet. Rainbows are readily caught on standard night crawlers, doe baits, jigs, spinners, spoons, and small perch or crayfish imitations, as well as trolling gear. Look for them in open water from the surface down to 40 feet, or off points or near the inlet in 10 to 30 feet spring through fall. Yellow perch can readily be caught using worms, small jigs, and spoons. Look for them in open water from 10 to 30 feet spring through fall. There is a mercury warning for yellow perch, smallmouth bass, and walleye, which may affect women who wish to become pregnant or are pregnant or who are nursing, and it also may affect preteen children. For more information, see the Department of Environmental Quality website, and I'll give a link to that in the description below.
Other things you might be interested in doing while you're in the area might include visiting Dinosaur National Monument east of Vernal, Flaming Gorge and the Green River north of Vernal, Uinta Mountains and Starvation Reservoir near Duchesne. While you're out fishing, please keep our fishing waters clean by disposing of your trash properly and clean, drain, and dry your watercraft to prevent our waters from nuisance aquatic invasive species. Enjoy your time on the water!